wanted to ask you kind of the aspects of filmmaking as a young filmmaker myself uh, from Utah what are some like tips or something that you would have for local filmmakers or just filmmakers in general you know I think I, I know a lot of people that have scripts or ideas where they're like, man, I'm gonna need 10 or 20 or 30 million dollars to pull it off. Right. And they end up sitting on a project for a long time and not doing anything because they've written something too big for the resources that they have at the time. And, and I would say, you know, technology is so affordable now to make a film that write something within your resources that you know well that you can start shooting tomorrow. Um, I think, you know, people just wait too long for the perfect project and then never make a movie. So I, I would say do something that you can do now. Awesome, so don't be scared is basically what you're saying. Yeah, 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 D don't be scared. And um, you know, and I think writing something with limited budget and resources makes you be more creative anyway. Awesome, so and then when it comes to, I mean, right now it's awesome because I feel like these films are starting to get the recognition. I mean, you're not, I mean, I love these movies. I hope you don't take this the wrong yeah, way. I mean, they're just not, you know, the mainstream. They're awesome. Sure. I mean, that's what we love sure, about sure, them. Sure. So, but with, you know, Wes Anderson starting to get recognition and things like that, are, do you have hopes that maybe sometime, I'm sure every filmmaker does, but do you feel like sure. these indie type films are, are starting to head in that direction where they're starting to get noticed and get the recognition they deserve? Yeah, you know, I think a lot of films, um, just with video on demand and being able to access things online so easily now, um, you know, your people are being exposed to a lot more different <laughs> filmmaker voices that they maybe wouldn't have been exposed to before. Um, and so, you know, I think the internet, just being able to stream and download things, um, is broadening people's palette of, of film in a way where before they may have just watched what was being programmed on, on cable. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your insight and good luck on your movie. Well, that's the story. I think I'll stick around for a while.